that's a uh, spotted lanternfly. That's what they look like now. Probably like a nymph or something, real immature stage. Um, they reach maturity like in the fall, like September. So they probably an egg clutch around here that, you know, through the winter and then these hatched out. It's windy, so hopefully it's uh, turning out. But there's actually two of them that I can see. Um, so they got to destroy, hopefully, ideally they would have been destroyed, you know, as the egg clutch, but um, this tree doesn't seem to have like a pest barrier or anything, so um, it could be infected. And then when these mature, they'll um, mate and then um, the females will lay eggs and there'll be more egg clutches for uh, next year. So um, I know it's a battle against the uh, lanternflies. Um, a lot of times when there's an invasive species, uh, it's a losing battle. Um, you never know how it's going to go, but um, just wanted to show what they look like um, in their uh, immature stage. Sorry about the wind. But yeah, you can see it. They're blackish and then they get more red. Like more like grayish and more red spots instead of the uh, white spots in the black body at this uh, immature stage. So, all right. So they can move pretty quick. And again, this is an immature spotted lanternfly. Not sure if they can fly at this stage. Maybe they can. You can see they look a lot different uh, at this stage of their development versus uh, in the fall. Here's some more of them. It's a fence post. Yeah, the things you see when you're out if you're observant. So I encourage anyone to be kind of uh, in touch with their environment and you know, kind of see what's going on. Um, it's kind of pointless to you know crush these because there's probably hundreds of them. But I just kind of wanted to make a quick video to show you what they look like. A bunch of them in the tree back there and then on the fence. So yeah, this whole... Uh, I guess they can also infest a fence post or that, or they kind of jump to it. They, they jump actually at this stage. I can just kind of show you here how quick they move. It's kind of the same thing. They just jump and then they disappear. I can show you. But yeah, so they're still very quick. And they kind of jump and fly. Flying jump, uh, more noticeable when they're full adults. But again, uh, this is what to look for in a juvenile. This is what a juvenile uh, spotted lanternfly looks like. The trees uh, have like a kind of a pest strip around the trunk, um, but. You know, they're proactive, which is a good thing, so that'll probably get a lot of them, but they, you know, the few that do hatch out, um, you know, they can spread, and then once they spread, they just multiply even more, so. That's the thing, you gotta get all of them, and it's almost impossible to get all of them, otherwise they just keep multiplying uh, year after year, which is what uh, makes invasive species uh, prevention and elimination uh, so difficult. And you know, uh, people wouldn't think to, you know, pest proof, uh, you know, an old fence. So they just, you know, they can use a host or kind of, you know, hang out other places besides trees is um, pretty much what happens. And they wouldn't uh, be reproducing now. This is just, they've recently, uh, you know, hatched out of the egg clutch. They can, uh, I guess they disperse, so that's another thing, so you never know where they're going, and they, you know, disperse and reproduce somewhere else, and that's how they spread, so. Very elusive, you see they're kind of avoiding the camera. Spotted lanternfly nymph. 
that I think is being uh, used for spotted lanternflies. It's on a lot of trees. Um, you can see some down there have them too, but it's just like the ones along the main stretch that have them. And I think uh, it's a good way to, you know, kind of get rid of them when they're, you know, in the nymph stage, juvenile stage. But um, some of them are going to be missed and um, like not all the trees have them. There's like some over there that uh, I've seen the spotted lanternflies on and there's uh, not, not this uh, pest strip. Um, I'm not sure that's the company uh, that manufactures them, but I think it's good, but I don't think it's enough to really uh, prevent them and eliminate them altogether. Um, but definitely a proactive measure. And this is the first year that I've seen these strips around the trees, which I think is in response to uh, the spotted lanternfly, uh, what could be considered an epidemic. Um, so yeah, um, you can see some in there. There's also some caterpillars, but yeah, treebands.com. I guess if you have an issue with them, you could purchase one of these for your trees, but it might be kind of late in the year to put them on now since uh, they've already hatched out of the egg clutches and um, started uh, to disperse. Um, so yeah, I know the spotted lanternflies are present uh, in the mid-Atlantic states and maybe in some of the southern states, uh, New York and Virginia, Delaware, New Jersey. Alright, that's, uh, that's about it. Um, have a great day. Sunday, June 16th, 2019. Bye-bye.